Hi guys, I'm going to be making a super and easy uh, onion quiche today. Now as you can see, I have five medium brown onions. I have salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to be using four brown uh, eggs. These are medium sized guys. And I'm also going to be using a phyllo pastry. I'm not going to be making the pastry from scratch. So I will be using the phyllo pastry today. And I will also be using 250 grams of cheddar cheese. Now, if you would like to see how I put this all together, stay tuned. Now, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be cutting the, uh, I'm going to peel and cut the uh, onions. As you can see here, I'm going to be doing this. Um, I will also, uh, once I've cut my onions down, I'm going to be frying them off. I'm not going to be chucking them into the, um, uh, the quiche as they are. I'm going to caramelize them for about maybe 5 or 10 minutes until they are golden brown. Now that I've peeled and cut the onions, I'm now going to go ahead and caramelize them. Once they are caramelized, we will get into putting all the ingredients together. I'm now going to allow them to cook on a low heat then uh, once they're completely cooked down guys I will then go ahead and put it all together now guys as you can see I am actually uh, making sure that my onions are not burning they are at this point beginning to cook you can see the color on there I'm going to continue to mix them every five minutes until they are completely cooked. As you can see, I have allowed them to cook until they are golden brown. Let me see if I can just bring them up a bit closer so you can see them. Ooh, I've allowed them to cook until they are golden brown. There they are. I'm now going to go ahead and add a tad bit of salt just to season. And I will allow them to cook for about three more minutes. And then we will begin by putting uh, everything together.
Now guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow the onions to cool down before adding them to the egg and the cheese. Now guys, I'm going to go ahead and layer my bacon tray with the filo pastry. What I did not mention, I'm also going to be using butter. You don't have to uh, use butter if you don't want to, but I like to just lightly brush the, uh, uh, the sheets with the uh, butter. Now when layering uh, the uh, filo pastry, I'm not going to make sure they are properly laid. You can just uh, let it hang over if you want to. I'm going to make sure guys that I completely push in the uh, pastry around the edges and I'm now going to go ahead and lightly brush the inside. And now in with a little bit of cheese and then I'm going to layer it again. Now that the onions have cooled down, I'm now going to put all the ingredients together to complete our onion quiche. In with the eggs. I'm now going to go ahead and mix it all together. Can you see that guys? Now guys, you can also use any sort of filling for your quiche. But today we have decided to put uh, onions and cheese as it was highly requested for today's breakfast. Um, I think I have also a uh, meat quiche in one of my previous videos what I'm going to do I will also attach it somewhere onto this video so you can go ahead and have a look at that as well but now that it has been completely combined I'm now going to go ahead and fill the uh, filo sheets And there you go guys. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to ensure that I level it all out. I'm not going to put cheese in at this point. Once I uh, begin to fold over their uh, layover sheets, I'm then going to lightly add a tad bit of cheese in the middle. And well, you know what, I will also put a little bit of tomato inside just for color.
Now guys, I've gone ahead and heated the oven. It's about 190 degrees. And I'm going to allow this to bake for about uh, 15 minutes and also until the top bit has been completely crisp up and nice. I will now sprinkle on the black pepper Now I'm going to pop this in the oven and we will see you in the next clip And there you have it guys, onion and cheese quiche Remember if you give this recipe a go, do not forget to Tag us in on Instagram and here on YouTube. Now guys, thanks for watching and we will see you in our next upload.